office as he gets on a moving train. There seems to be another child on the train comes more imaginative with time, and often writes her own bedtime story as Wendy helps her mother and brothers at the diner. We see a notice on a board in the town. Wendy is calm and composed. In contrast, on the boys' demand, their mother tells them a bedtime story about her life in California and stole cars on her way. Wendy thinks it's cool that her mom's a Things change. Their dreams also change. This makes Wendy sad. Let's go to a canal to fish. James and Douglas are busy when Wendy misses it. While returning home, she remembers her brother's words. Your Suddenly, a mysterious red light passes through the window, and the little boy named Peter, who was with Thomas when he disappeared. Wendy and two get on board, following their sister. Wendy spreads her arms. There are no stops, because this is an adventure. In the morning, Peter t When they reach above a river, Peter asks them to line up on the edge of the train as them to a kid on a boat. All of them get on the boat and sail to the sea. Seeing the magical island, Wendy remembers the voice in her head shooting out smoke in the air, indicating the magical charge of the place. A while later, they meet a guy their age, singing a melody to the big volcano of his own, triggering the volcano. The others run away in fear. He doesn't seem to have aged a day. Upon inquiry, Thomas eventually they join the others and start singing the same melody from earlier on the ground and reach a canal. Peter takes her into the sea, and Peter explains that when the first child laughed for the first time, the mother went for as long as they like. However, the magic only works if you may is like a movie for the children. They play, dance, sing and just extending her visit, and will return home once she is done having fun. The children explain his name is Buzzo, a former member of their group, in the sea. The darling siblings swim to the boat to inspect it. But only James and Wendy emerge from the other side. Worried for Douglas, then sister out of the water, assuring them that Douglas must be fine. James has lost faith in the mother and asks her to keep it a secret from the others. Peter volunteers to do it himself and cut his arm. Dalt. They come across Buzzo, who agrees to help them. He puts ching and killing fishes, which confuses Wendy. She inquires what they did in a cloth and has stopped bleeding. To rest, he and Wendy go to an if they are old. She dances, urging the others to do the same. Eventually, James goes to the fishing zone and gets the nets ready. The other old bucked the children, which will make the mother come to them herself. Wendy retaliates there before her and kidnap all the children. The only one that could hide notices a man with only one arm, bending a hook. It turns out, they jump into the ocean and end up in the canal again. There, reunite and set off to look for their friends on a rowboat. Seeing no he has now turned fully old and has a hook in place of his missing arm, he uses to believe James is his brother. Suddenly, the sound of the mother is but are too late, as James strikes her with a harpoon and injures her brother's body, but at last refuses to eat it. Peter cries and the seniors feel bad for the kid. Wendy assures all of them that they're st they should not be disheartened. She then gets them all to start singing the melody time for them to go home. Knowing that he cannot go home, James thereby allowing him to live out the rest of his days with the spirit of a child have many adventures as they grow older. They dance and sing, and her, as a bedtime story. Her daughter says that Mystery Recapped tells stories and watches them get away, with a smile on her face. Knowing that her daughter, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like.